here in Canada, we have um, not quite as many options as in the U.S. for ordering online. But one of my favorite places to order from is Will.ca and it's like an online pharmacy. So you can order all of your vitamins, your toothbrushes, toothpaste, your lotions, your body wash, anything that you would normally find in a pharmacy, you can buy there. So what um, I normally do is I order if I have the more expensive things or a lot of different things and I don't want to take the kids out, which it's usually six of them, although Theo can stay home alone for short periods of time because he's 10. Uh, when I go into the city, I don't like to leave him at home because we're gone for hours because it takes an hour to get there and an hour to get home, so that's already two hours and then however much time we spend running errands adds to that, so I don't feel comfortable leaving him home alone for, you know, four, five, six hours. Sometimes we stay out, or actually, usually we end up staying in the city trying to get all of our errands done until we um, usually get home around 9. So now we still bring him even though he's technically allowed to stay at home for a short period of time. We don't consider that a short period of time. So we bring him with us. So a lot of the time I don't like to go into the city with him and all the rest of the kids and have to go shopping, you know, with the six kids at a pharmacy and try and remember all the different things that you need to get. So I do like to shop. Um, at well.ca they often have coupon codes that you can use or free samples that you can get. So I really enjoy that as well and have great customer service. Um, a lot of the time, if anything comes that I've had, I bought a, a change pad sheet and two of them actually and what came when the package arrived was bassinet sheets which are much smaller and totally don't fit change pads. So I sent them a quick email and they gave me the option of having a different pattern sent because they were all sold out of the pattern that I wanted or just to be refunded. And then they allowed me to keep the bassinet sheets, which is great, except for the fact that I didn't have a bassinet to put them on, so I um, gave them to a friend. Uh, another time I normally order vitamin D because it's up here in Canada we don't get quite as much vitamin D as everybody else in the southern end because it's usually quite cold and when we do go outside we're usually covered up for the majority of the year around um, six to eight months it's usually fairly cold so we don't get quite as much vitamin D as the rest of the world so I do take vitamin D and I give it to my children as well so when that arrived when one of my bottles arrived it had actually leaked so I sent them a quick email and they quickly shipped out another bottle to replace the one that had leaked at no extra charge, so that was really nice. And those bottles are fairly expensive. They're 20 to 26 dollars for the bottles that I buy because they're concentrated drops, and that way I don't have to mess around with taking the tablets, which may or may not get dissolved in your stomach and absorbed. So I usually take the liquid. But yeah, those are very, fairly expensive. So I am going to show you for all that ranting or talking, I guess. I am going to show you the things that I ordered this time from well Dusty, and I actually thought of a few other things that I will need to order again and um, I will probably also get them from well Dusty because they do have quite a selection of different things that you can get and it, it just fits my needs basically. So to start off, they normally package any liquids that they send you. I already had to open this one. <laughs> they normally package the liquids that they send you in a little bag so that any of the other things that are that you've ordered won't end up um, covered in liquid in case they leak, which was really nice when I did have that bottle leak. Um, so I also take some vitamin B12, which is really important for your energy levels. A lot of people don't get quite enough vitamin B, so they feel kind of sluggish. And uh, I find, again, that the liquid uh, is better absorbed, for me anyways, than the tablets. Are. So I order the liquid B12 and I did not order my regular brand this year. The regular brand that I order is Organica, I believe. And so I decided to try a couple different brands because why not? Um, I recently started taking vitamin B12 so I'm not kind of brand loyal, I guess, at this point. So the first one that I got was Purely Natural. 12 and they're all sublingual drops so you put them under your tongue and you leave them there for about 10 seconds and then that way they can be absorbed before you swallow them 
a bit better, I guess. Um, so this one is a natural berry flavor. And this one is Nutri-Start Naturally, Quick B12. And I believe most of them are all kind of a berry flavored. So um, I read some of the reviews and a few of them actually said that they were too sweet, but with the ones that I get, you only take, you know, five to 10 drops. So I don't think that I would find them terribly sweet or too sweet. I did take, I'm not sure, I have another bottle, I think. One of them, maybe it was this one um, last night and it was fine. I didn't find that it was too sweet at all. So I'm not um, finding basically a difference. The wine bottle that I normally have is more of, it doesn't have the dropper in it, it's the drops kind of drop off the bottle like when you have um, essential oils. And so that I found that it when you need to take eight drops in the morning, eight drops at night, I would be sitting there holding the bottle upside down waiting for the drops to come out and if there was any air in the little hole where the drops come out, it would take, you know, a couple of minutes actually for the drops to start coming out. Once they came out, they came out quicker, but when it was first coming out, you'd have to sit there for a minute or two and try and wait or figure out how to get the air out of the dropper top, which I didn't like. So that's why I kind of got these ones, or I'm trying these ones with the little droppers. Because again, you still only need a couple drops, but they come out better when you have a dropper. Um, my husband really likes stevia, and he particularly likes the liquid stevia. He doesn't like the powder that you can mix in. So he drinks this in his tea and coffee, and we get the Now Better Stevia, which has zero calories. It's made from the stevia plant, which is the leaf, which is a lot more natural than a lot of the sweeteners, and this is the alcohol-free version. We usually wait until it's on sale because it's $36, but we wait until it's $30, I believe. And then that lasts quite a long time. The kids also like to have it in their tea. I am a big sugar junkie, so I usually stick with sugar and have not jumped on the stevia bandwagon yet. I know a lot of people really like stevia, but I just, I don't know, it's the aftertaste that's still kind of like the chemical-y taste, so I don't really like that yet. I I mean, it's probably way better for you than the than sugar, and I am a addicted to sugar, absolutely. So I should really try switching over, but I just, I haven't been able to, I just can't. Um, what else I got is, I really like the fact that well.ca often has sales, or they have a clearance section on their website as well, so you can look at that, and it's, um, you can look at the whole clearance section, or it's divided, you know, like a white regular website into children's, and then vitamins, and different things like that, so I really like that you can order from there, and there's um, free shipping with orders, I believe it's $25, might be $29 now, if you go over $29, there's free shipping. So um, you might need to go into the clearance section sometimes and bump up your order a little bit depending on what you're ordering. So the clearance section is really nice for that. I found these little marshmallows. They are shaped like trees and they fit on the side of your mug. So I'll see if I can show you that. And I thought they would be really cute for the kids. They were $2.50 for I think there's six or eight of them in here. So I thought that was really cute. And the children will like them and I'm a sucker for getting new or different things for the kids and I to try so that was one of them and I usually don't buy things when they're full price I like sales so um, that being they were regularly ten dollars a bag and they were marked down to 250 so how can you go wrong uh, another thing that was on the clearance part was these little puffer fish dryer balls so they go in your dryer and they're supposed to help your clothes get softer, softer without fabric softener and also help them to dry a bit faster. Um, Dustin Ever the Scientist looked it up for, we usually use wool dryer balls that I've made just from yarn and felting it in the washing machine in the dryer. But over the years they've gone missing so I thought about making more until I found these which were pretty cute and were on clearance. So I believe they were $7.50 for two which um, I know they sell similar things like this in the grocery store, which I have no idea what the price is, but I thought these were super cute, so I got these instead. And um, it means less work for me because I don't actually have to make them. 
which is a bit labor intensive when you have to wash them on hot a lot and then stick them in the dryer so so that the wool can get felted and turn into a solid ball but these are quite stiff I'll be interested to see how noisy these are in our dryer because they look fairly or they feel fairly hard so they might be more like when you stick shoes in the dryer and be super noisy which would suck because our washing machine and our dryer uh, in, our, in our laundry room which actually doesn't have a door right now because we haven't worked on it and it's one of the rooms that we really do need to work on and it's right beside our dining room so if we are drying anything around a meal time or snack time or even homeschool time um, that probably won't work so I'll have to let you know how those kind of work I guess so I've got two boxes of them because more is better I guess I know that they come normally in boxes or containers of two or three, but more are suggested, so I got four of them. And let's see, one of the next things I ordered were these super cute training pants. They are by Kanga Care. I really like we got this. Go. Those prints. And then these prints, which are like a little Asian characters which are super cute. I am not going to try and pronounce the name of them because I will butcher it. But we have some of the newborn cloth diapers by Kanga as well as we've tried some of the other um, all-in-one diapers, no pocket diapers, but the, the ones that fit multiple sizes. Um, we had those a while ago. And I really liked them, but they had zippers at that point, which were kind of good, but also kind of bad because when the zippers went through the wash multiple times, which happens with cloth diapers, you wash them every time they're used. So I'm um, going through the wash a lot. They ended up, the zippers just didn't pull quite as well as they should, which I really liked the zippers, but once they kind of got washed a bunch, they didn't work so well. So that was kind of bad because you actually need to unzip it to take out the insert, which is where all the pee and stuff gets absorbed, and that has to come out to be washed. So back to these. Um, these are training pants for Bear. Bear is going to be two and a half here pretty soon and he is actually the one that's been the longest to potty train so far. We haven't really pushed it. We haven't taken the time to kind of do the whole every 15 minutes or 20 minutes, half an hour, hour, you bring them to the bathroom, you get them to go pee and then they get the idea and they'll go themselves because I don't have time for that. So, um, he basically isn't potty trained. Um, Theo was around a little less than two before he was potty trained. And he was, um, he, I did do the whole three day type of training where you bring him every time because he was my first and I had time to do that. I was just at home with him, although I was doing classes online at the time. I did have the time to stop, you know, every half an hour or an hour depending um, and take him to the bathroom. So he caught on fairly quickly. And then we had Caledonia, and we couldn't really train her. She ended up training herself. And then on and on, yeah, they went, they were basically a little over the age of two when they were all trained. So Bear is the latest and last <laughs> to potty train. So I got these hoping that they would be sort of an incentive to get him to train. And they're more absorbent than for, um, in his stocking, he got some Thomas underpants as well as Paw Patrol, which he loves. And I was hoping that would be some incentive, you know, if you go pee in the potty, then you can wear these now. But no, no, he just likes to wear them and pee in them. So um, with these, they're actually absorbent, so they'll be a lot better. Nothing will soak through and go onto the floor. They have snaps on the side for if they have an accident and poop in their pants, which is one thing that bears definitely not caught on to quite yet. So, we'll see how those go. You'll have to wash them and prep them and see how I like those compared to the other training pants that I do have or that I have used in the past. So I'll let you know about those as well. Let's see, next thing is liquid eyeliner. Um, I consider myself to not be a huge makeup person. I pretty much wear the same thing over and over. And battery so while it charges I'm just going to finish up on my phone. So next thing that I have is the liquid eyeliner eye like I was saying. I'm just not much of a makeup person I don't think so I have the one palette that I use that 
one of the darker matte colors I actually use for my eyebrows to color them in because they're not very, you know, full or, you know, straight or perfect. So I have to fill them in to make them look much better and look normal. Um, so I do use that and then I use the matte and the shiny just for when I'm going out, I use the more glittery, shiny, shimmery stuff. And when I'm at home, I use the, you know, the matte stuff. And I also double and use the same stuff and the same techniques that I normally use for my everyday wear or my nighttime wear for the girls' dance. So it gets a lot of use. found that using two different mascaras actually is a lot better than trying to find one that does the two different things that you want to use, which is volumize and lengthen. So I use one for lengthening and then volumizing, and that seems to work a lot better than the ones that are the, supposed to be combined to use. So um, then I also use two or three different eyeliners. I use a liquid eyeliner for the side wings, which I still suck at, um, and then just a regular gel one, not a gel, a pen one to do across my eyelids, and then I have a different one to do the waterline. So I actually use three different eyeliners and two mascaras. So I don't know if that really classifies as a makeup person, <laughs> but uh, I still have very little makeup. It's just a strange assortment of makeup. Um, so the one thing that I did get was this uh, line stiletto. So this is the liquid stuff that's good for the side. Uh, when you use the liquid stuff, it has a tendency to dry out, kind of like mascara. So you do have to replace it. And also, you're supposed to replace your makeup a minimum of every six months anyway because of all the bacteria that can be in it from your eyes. You don't want to be putting it into your eyes from your skin, I guess. Let's see what else I got. Oh yes, and then mascara, which is the Illegal Length Mas Fiber Extension Mascara. I really do like this as the only mascara, um, which is what I used before. I had actually like two mascaras. I really, you know, like this is for a lot quicker than putting on two different coats of mascaras. Otherwise, I normally use the super cheap. You can get it for five bucks on sale. Um, what is it? Maybelline mascaras, I believe. So you can get the volumizing ones and then the lengthening ones and you can combine the two to find your perfect basically coat, I guess, without when you try and get it in the same mascara, it usually ends up drying out and clumping and just being overall kind of gross. So I found that having the two works, as does the new mascara. Well, I've tried this before, so not that one. That's a liner. I've tried this before and I really like it, so I ordered it again because it was on sale. And I just dropped two. And finally, what was in the box is um, it's sample time at well.ca. So I got to choose two samples. It depends on how much money you spend, on how many samples you get. So I chose some black tea with vanilla, which I like tea and vanilla. I've been drink I haven't been drinking much tea lately. I do like Earl Grey tea, which we don't have, so that's probably why. But I really decided that this would be good because I like the vanilla flavoring and then I also got a Nutriform bar because well it's a good snack I think to just throw in my bag and it's chocolate cranberry melt and I love chocolate and yeah like I said it's a good snack to throw in my bag other options are often things like dental floss and just other stuff that I wouldn't necessarily use, maybe more different kinds of tea or lip gloss, things like that. Not lip gloss, sorry, lip balm. Lip gloss I'd probably get because that's the one thing that I do use with makeup I is a lot of lip products, although I normally get the lip stains, so, which is what this is. I don't have time to reapply all the time, so I usually get a lip stain and I'll apply in the morning and then I'll apply in the afternoon and it's good for the day and I don't have to worry about getting it on my cups or kissing ahead of my baby and having him covered in lipstick, which happens in the dance competition, so I know all too well how much fun it is to try and get lipstick off of his head, and it's not. So, that's all I have for today. Oh, no, wait. There's one other thing. Um, in our other part of our mail haul, I also got a package from eBay, another great place to order from if you live in the middle of nowhere or an hour out from any city and you don't want to have to drive into town. Um, eBay. eBay's pretty cheap for a lot of things. Um, it is a hard drive for the Xbox. We had our Xbox, we actually got it a year and a half ago at Christmas time for the kids and for the family. And about right after 
<laughs> of course this happens. Right after the warranty runs out, of course, right? Right? By the extended warranty. Right after the warranty, the factory warranty ran out, our hard drive broke. So we bought all these games, pre-played and cheap games, that we have at home. We have probably about 40 of them and they don't work because our hard drive broke. So we ordered a new one on eBay and it was $40 and it was here in Canada so it was shipped pretty fast. It got here in about a week and um, Dustin, he will be able to replace this fairly easily, he says. Anyway, we've taken the Xbox apart to see which one we needed and which model and so we should be able to take this and put it in this weekend finally after um, it's been a good more than six months without a working hard drive, except for once. It worked one time. The one time that it worked was when Bear turned it on and put in a disc. I don't know how that works, but that was the one time in the past six to eight months, maybe a year, I have no idea, I lost track of time, that it's worked. So. I don't know, but we're going to get it working again so that we can actually play some of the games, which include LEGO Dimensions, and we bought like tons and tons of the characters for it, and right afterwards, it broke. So we have Skylanders, LEGO Dimensions, and another set that you buy the different pieces for. I can't remember what it is right now, but there's, you know, all those money-grabbing games that the children love. Yeah, we have those, and we have lots of sets for them, and we haven't been able to play them. So hopefully, hopefully this weekend we can get it working and everybody will be happy. So yeah. So I'm also testing out the tea really quickly as well. It has a tetrahedron bag. It's kind of that plasticky stuff. Um, and when I took it out, it actually the top rip. So I'm gonna have to stick it in my teapot that has a strainer before I drink it, I think. Which a lot of the time that I have tea now, I end up with the tea bag breaking. I don't know what it is, but it's just what happens. And I also noticed that after recording the video that I'm actually missing, I was on the fence about getting another different type of vitamin B12 to buy. And so I wasn't sure if I did get it, but looking at the receipt, I did actually order it and it wasn't in the box. So I'm gonna be sending them an email and I'll let you know how that turns out. Usually, like I said, it turns out really well, so I'll let you know. Okay, you can wash your hands down here. So, um, turns out that the tea that I got as a sample is actually pretty good. I always put the flavored creamers in my coffee and my tea, which I know it's bad, it's just, Flavored, not flavored, well, I guess, yeah, flavored but liquid chemicals. So it's really not great for you, but it's hard to get out of that habit of having flavored stuff versus coffee. It tastes terrible. I don't know why people drink it otherwise, except for the caffeine, I guess, but there's a lot easier ways to have caffeine than to drink coffee or tea that really doesn't taste good. Flavored chemicals that kind of give it that special something.